Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is, I believe this was actually um, um, Francesca uh, Rojas's um, fingerprint. Uh, but I'm not, I don't have to check that. I think that's, that, 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 that's exactly what this is. In any event, <clears throat> um, we see how the loop goes. See, it's going starting one direction and doubling over, going back to the other one. There are two places on the fingerprint that you have to just pay, pay attention to. One is the core, and one is the delta. The core is the middle. That's where you see the. That's where you see the. That's where you see the loop, or the whorl, or the arch. You're going to see. Um, although uh, it's not easy to see a core and an arch, but anyway, for the loop and the whorl, you're you. Yeah, there's the core where you can clearly see that loop. One direction doubling back to the other direction. That's the core. Uh, it also has a delta. A delta is where, um, again, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a technical uh, description, but you should realize that it is where that core meets, meets, um, meets the ridges going in the other direction over here. See here the core goes down like this. Remember it doubles back in itself. Where, that, those, where those lines meet you know, something on bottom of it, it forms like a triangle shape. Uh, a delta, by the way, is a Greek letter, and it's shaped like a triangle. So where this meets the outward going, where again, the, the, the core meets the outward one, you will have a triangle shape that is a delta. So again, got to pay attention to those, this core and the delta. A loop has a core and has one delta, only one. If it has two deltas, it's not a loop. The loops are, are also um, they're also classified as being ulnar or radial, whether you know depending on whether this loop is pointed toward the thumb or the loop is pointed uh, toward the little finger. So ulnar is toward the little finger, radial is toward the thumb. So that's a loop again, one delta, and we see the core easily. Whorl, here's a whorl. Um, here, uh, here's the core again. It's a circular kind of a shape. That's what makes it uh, one of the things that makes it. Uh, a whorl, and it all has two deltas. So here again is where that central part, the core part, kind of like meets a flat or oppositely like um, a ridge that's uh, going past it. But it will also have another one because being a circle, it's going to have it on the other side as well. So two deltas can classify a fingerprint as a whorl class. Okay, see the two deltas? Here's where it goes and separates over here from the core in a sort of triangle shape. Here again, it's also separating from the from the core here, going the opposite direction and uh, something underneath it, forming a triangle shape. Two deltas. A whorl has two deltas. Has a core, has an has a clear core, and has two deltas. Uh, there's all the bifurcations we'll talk about later. Bifurcation is where a ridge splits, like for example. Um, let's see if you can find a bifurcation. Oh, there's a small one over here. Um, and, well, that's interesting. Uh, I wonder where the other one is. Here's also a small one, but this might be an island. Um, you can consider this thing a bifurcation, okay, where this ridge splits. Here it's not, it's sort of a bifurcation, but this is part of the delta. So you wouldn't want to call that a bifurcation over here. It splits too widely. A uh, small split like... Um, like this would be considered bifurcation. So there's a difference in bifurcation. Oh, here, here, here's a good bifurcation over here. Small split right over here. Let me mark that over here. There, there's your uh, bifurcation over here, whereas the delta is a more of a triangle shape. And here again, a triangle shape. And this is like a small little fork. Okay, we can deal with bifurcations later. <clears throat> the idea is a whorl it has a core. It's sort of circular. And... Um, it has two deltas, and sometimes uh, the core doesn't look as clean as this. You might even see something that may might, might be like two of them, like it, it's sort of two of them um, in some vaguely spiral pattern. So it's not easy to see the circle. But even if you even so, you can always identify a whorl by having two deltas. Two deltas means that that it's a whorl. Arch. Uh, arch has no delta or core, no clear core, no clear delta. 
here's the arch. As we mentioned, it goes in one direction, just keeps going in, other, just keeps going in that direction. Just keeps going. Um, it doesn't change direction like a loop, and it's no, there's no circle at all like a whorl. Not only that, there are no deltas. See, it just forms a general arch. There is nothing that, see, a loop goes this way, and so they're going to have a flat line. They're going to have some kind of delta. But here, it just goes in one direction. So it just goes one direction, the arch gets lower and lower until it just gets flat. But there is no, no delta. And there's not even a clear core. I mean, you can argue that this is the core over here, but who knows? It doesn't, you know, there's no, the fact is that there's no clear core and definitely, and no delta, so you can identify an arch that way. Aside from the fact that it's, it's kind of obvious it goes in a single arch. Aren't many people, only 5% of the populace has, has arches uh, for fingerprints. Anyway, so these are, now of course, uh, you know, uh, identifying it as, uh, as a loop, a whorl, or, a, or an arch doesn't really uh, allow you to identify a single person. To do that, you have to look at what they call minutia. It's called minutia. These are ridge characteristics, and there are, these are different for every single person. You have to look for bifurcations the forking or fusing of two ridges, and we looked a little bit about that. We'll see a little more. Look for ridge endings, where the ridge ends. You know what that means, where it stops, where it just, like, uh, gets a dead end. Uh, and enclosure, that's where the ridge actually forms some kind of, like, a vaguely, um, an island-like shape. Anyway, <clears throat> um, these three, these three classifications, these three minutiae, when you look at them and you find them for any fingerprint, they will be different from everybody else's. Now, you can find one bifurcation and uh, compare it to another by another fingerprint that has bi bi bifurcation, but that doesn't say much. Well, everyone's got bifurcations, and the fact that one person, the two people have a bifurcation in the same place, that really doesn't uh, mean much. But uh, what you do is you do you look at all the bifurcations. If two bifurcations are in the same place in two different fingerprints and the same distance apart, that starts to tell you, hey, these people are very likely, these fingerprints are very likely to be from the same person. What about three bifurcations? What about four of them? Now, at that point, uh, I'm pretty sure you can agree that if you have four bifurcations in the same place, the same distances away from each other, They've got to be from the same source. It's got to be from the same person. So even though we don't have any specific number of minimum required amounts, like three is enough or four is enough, um, the professionals, uh, they uh, we have to rely on the professionals, people with expertise and experience in identifying them, and they will, um, they have, <clears throat> they can tell you that these two fingerprints come from the same source. They're from the same person. But there is no specific uh, minimum. Uh, an expert will tell you whether four is enough, or in some places uh, only you'll need more six or seven, depending how clear it is, uh, the clear these <clears throat> these minutia are, and how clear the distances between them are. So, um, what what? How do you use minutia? What are they? Now, here's a fingerprint. Uh, can you tell which type? Well, it sure looks like a whorl, right? But anyway. Um, try to find an enclosure and a ridge and a bifurcation. See if you can find that. So let's find the enclosure. See, there's an island right over there. There may be more than one that I didn't catch. I mean, I don't know if this is an enclosure, but uh, whatever. Uh, you might be able to find more than one, but that's what I was able to find, this enclosure. A ridge ending, where it ends. Wh 